It's Thursday, March 15th, and this special edition of the Buzz Morning Show starts now. And it's a beautiful day here in downtown Nashville where the sun is shining on our host city, the 15th annual STN convention. Good morning, everyone. I'm Lane Imler. And I'm Thomas Hart. After an eight hour bus ride all the way from South Carolina, we are excited to bring you the buzz from one of the scenic spots of Music City, USA. The pedestrian bridge spans the Cumberland River and connects the suburbs of East Nashville to the heart of the city. And let me tell you, this place is hopping, even though it's 10 a.m. on a random Thursday morning. It's not so random at all. The first round of the NCAA tournament will be held here and it has to contain all of us. Over 3,000 budding broadcasts and filmmakers from all over the country, all for the Student Television Network convention. And let's not forget, we're basically in the birthplace of country music, where the iconic Music Row played an instrumental role in bringing together singers, songwriters, and musicians for over the past 70 years. Despite its identity to the Music City, Music Row is in our precarious position. The backbone of Nashville, Music Row, has hosted the best Nashville's culture has to offer. But despite the positive impact the area has had, developers are putting history in hazard. Edge Hill Cafe has seen everything from triumph to turmoil, but the threat to tear down RCA Studio A was not something the residents took lightly. RCA had been there for the longest, and it was one of the, one of the biggest buildings over there. Um, and so everyone rallied around and said, you know, this is, this is something you just can't take down. So many people had great memories there. I mean, lots of great albums were cut there, so it's kind of a massive landmark. Unnecessary urbanization has been a hoop that the city has had to jump through for decades, and Mike Porter, manager on the property where Music Row got its start, understands the heartache of local businesses breaking. Well, it's kind of like a family member, you know, of, of losing a family member when something like that comes up, and the community does come together to be proactive about uh, saving it. While I've just been here for one day, I can already see the history that is intertwined in this close-knit community that has kept the beat alive in Studio A and many others with similar struggles. Reporting for Student Television Network and The Buzz TV, I'm Zoe Colkin. Thanks, Zoe. Now, Opryland, the Country Music Hall of Fame, all the honky-tonks and nightclubs are what bring an estimated 13.9 million tourists to the country music capital every year. But there's much more to the city than just the history and the harmonies. That's right. Nashville is home to one of the premier facilities for cardiovascular care. With first-rate physicians and cutting-edge technology, the Sarah Cannon Research Center is focused on keeping the heart of this city on a steady beat. It's no secret that Nashville is known for its country music scene, but the city is also home to a diverse healthcare cluster with leaders in a number of industry niches that impact the healthcare community locally and nationally. One in particular is right here in the heart of Nashville. We're again a subspecialty of a specialty, so we're a very niche group. Our patient population is specific to certain diseases. Although the clinic is somewhat small, they use trials and tests to tackle everything from high blood pressure to heart failure. They also utilize the necessary research needed to educate their patients on how to live a healthier lifestyle. So Dr. Barbara was just telling me that high blood pressure is one of the key factors in heart disease. And every 40 seconds, someone in the U.S. dies of this disease. And the TriStar Centennial Cardiac Specialty Clinic is not only providing top clinical care, but they're trying to bring the heartbeat back to Nashville. Having this specialty clinic, it just brings the whole family into the picture. We can, you know, we become a part of their family just like they become a part of us. Reporting for the Student Television Network and the Buzz TV, I'm Emily Ambrose. Thanks, Emily. Right next to where we are standing is Nissan Stadium, home of the Tennessee Titans. And just across the river is Bridgestone Arena, home of the National Predators. But as we stated at the top of the show, eight teams tomorrow night will go head to head for the first round of March Madness. I have my bracket filled out here and ready to go. Well, good for you. Looks like you're leading with your heart instead of your head for a couple of those, but that's okay. Now all eyes will be on center court tomorrow for basketball, but with hosting over 250 events per year, it keeps those working backstage really bouncing. The Bridgestone has hosted a plethora of events from their popular Predator hockey games to the annual Country Music Awards. And even though thousands flock here to see everything from their favorite artists to a spectacular sporting event, it really is the people behind the scenes that keep this place on beat. 
Graham explains what goes on behind the scenes of something that is pretty spectacular. I oversee all technical operations, so my job is responsible for audio, lighting, visual, LED, and broadcast, or that could be a nationwide broadcast that goes out for the entire country and sometimes worldwide to see. Big League productions create opportunities for aspiring storytellers to take the reins. Just all throughout college, I kind of knew that this is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to stay with sports and video. But once you do build trust with people by doing volunteer work and they know that you're serious about doing it, then that's when you can start doing uh, bigger jobs, uh, more projects, and uh, they can start sending you places, I guess. Yeah. And here with STN, we're taking those first steps to the global stage. I'm Courtney Smith, reporting for the Student Television Network and the Buzz TV. Thanks, Courtney. It's really cool to have the Cincinnati players staying right in our hotel, especially since I have them cutting down the nets at the national championship game in San Antonio this year. But if there's one thing I love more than sports, it's got to be food. Bottomless pit right here. But I've been known to be able to put away my own share of good southern cooking. And one thing Nashville is known for is a good meat and three. Spicing up a solid meal with some great music is a must in Music City. And who better to check out a local favorite with than our very own Camden. On the corner of 5th and Church lies a classic family favorite stemming from rural Tennessee. The downtown location of Puckett's puts a rock and take on a rustic tradition. And in 1998, Andy Marshall, my dad, he actually opened up, uh, bought one of the stores in Leapers Fork and opened up his own little gas and go with a small griddle about, that could do about 14 burgers a day and kind of grew it every single day until it is what it is now. Now as a professional cook, I have a special appreciation for classic country cooking that manages to keep its rhythm. And Punker's Kitchen never misses a beat. With its humble beginnings in Leapers Fork, Tennessee, it's simple southern food like this that keeps customers coming back. I grew up in rural East Tennessee, and uh, this is the kind of food that I, I grew up on, and it's, it's good. The food itself isn't the only thing that draws customers in. An atmosphere built around music helps the restaurant cultivate relationships with local musicians. And we've built a great relationship with all the, these top songwriters and that lived out in Leapers Fork. Puckett's bonds with customers and songwriters represent what Nashville is all about. For Student Television Network and the Buzz TV, I'm Camden Miller. A perfect ending to another great show. We've had so much fun exploring Nashville today, and we can't wait for another three days in this sensational city. For Student Television Network and the Buzz TV, I'm Thomas Hart. And I'm Lane Imler. Welcome, Welcome to, to Nashville, Nashville STN. STN.